Hi, it's Edward Mendoza. Today I'd like to talk about graduate degrees. Do we need them at all? Or is it really worth you know, the time and effort? Stay tuned. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. This is a question I've been getting quite a bit as, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense, right? So many places in the world are in lockdown. You still can't travel to a lot of countries because airports are completely shut down. People are looking online, they're saying, hey, I could do an online degree because I'm spending a lot of time online and you know, the, the whole mobility right now is, is um, shut down quite a bit. So I've, I think that's why it's like there's a, a little bit more interest than, than usual in, in you know, an online graduate degree like, uh, like OMSCS. So it's, it's a fair question, right? Like, do we really need you know, graduate degrees? My first concern, obviously, and that, that'll be for I guess maybe five or 10 years into the future is if everybody's getting graduate degrees, how much value does the degree have, right? I mean, that's the same thing that happened uh, with bachelor degrees. When I first got my bachelor's, there wasn't that many people that, that, uh, that had uh, bachelor's degrees. There was more and more people studying, right? There was more and more people getting their bachelor's, but it didn't cross my mind that in five, 10 years, it's people are expecting to see you know, a bachelor's degree on, uh, on your resume, whereas before, I mean, by before, I mean, maybe 20, 30 years ago, it was more of a big deal, right? So that definitely cheapens the, uh, the results, right? Which is another reason why I keep uh, mentioning OMSCS is, is, is gonna be different because how many people are gonna have graduate degrees in you know, some kind of social studies, you know, psych majors? It, it, there's gonna be other areas where it's like, these aren't like core, you know, um, uh, mathematical, um, scientific, like, uh, degrees, right? So I'm not saying there's anything, you know, wrong about those other kind of degrees, but having, having, you know, a computer science degree is definitely going to be, um, seen as much more useful in, in, in a lot of types of jobs that you're trying to go for. Just having that CS, uh, masters on, on your resume is definitely going to help out. But the other layer to that is this is Georgia tech, right? This is not a regular regular uh, university. The, uh, my bachelor's degree had a name that nobody ever recognized, literally. So it's like I would be going to interviews just based on my experience. It had nothing to do with the actual education. Whereas I've already met plenty of people in, the, uh, in this degree plan that people are talking to them either. I've, I've talked to TAs that, uh, that have had plenty of job opportunities because they had uh, Georgia Tech on their, on their resume as far as a graduate degree. Um, or people that are still working on their degrees and just because they're saying, you know, I'm, I'm still working on my, on my education at Georgia Tech, they're getting interviews right there. So it's, if, if that's the case, I mean, if you're just trying to get a degree just to get a degree, I mean, there's definitely some uses there, but that's one of the components I'm, uh, I highly recommend a uh, university like Georgia Tech. Um, I haven't looked into it, so I don't really know, but UT Austin is offering also a, uh, an, an online um, computer science uh, graduate degree. There's the University of uh, Illinois, as I've heard a lot of people talking about. So if, if you go to one of these, you know, um, accredited, well-recognized, high-ranking uh, universities, then it, it, that alone is gonna help you much more because people know those schools and they'll, they'll, be, uh, they'll be searches based on that. Let me just say it that way, right? It's like there'll be people that are looking for um, certain degree candidates of, of, of uh, universities that are that are recognized versus if you just have the, the degree. Now I'm not, you know, trying to be condescending to people that, that they get a graduate degree in a in a not really known uh, university. You can still it can still further your career in many other ways. But when you look at the you, you know the, uh, the price of OMS CS versus you know uh, other actual universities, it's like. Even the university I went to, it's like they did offer, you know, a, a graduate degree, and it was literally three to four times what the overall cost of OMSCS is going to be. Um, you know, when I finished my my degree program. So when you're looking at it from that angle, you're like, okay, then what? What's the real benefit of doing it the uh, 
the other way, right? It's like, well, why would you go to uh, um, one of these uh, um, universities um, for a degree that you could be getting much much cheaper online? Well, I mean, again, if, if it's the environment, it's the you know connections with actual people. There, there there are some you know really good benefits. So I think it depends on where you're at too. Because the other thing that you know, I don't cover enough, and I'm going to start you know covering uh, more as time goes along, is the cost, right? I mean, if you look, you can get a no-name uh, um, uh, um, graduate uh, degree. Uh, um, I'm sorry, a uh, graduate degree from a no-name university for four to five times, sometimes even more, the cost that you know OMSCS is, uh, 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 is going to be towards the end, right? I mean, I'm paying for my degree every semester. Like, I'm not going to owe anything by the time I'm done with this, right? How are you going to compare to that to someone who now they owe the equivalent of a house by the time they, they finish their uh, their masters? And then if they're studying in an area that really doesn't, you know, is, isn't going to uh, um, bring you a lot of jobs, right? It, it's you know, I have a, I, I have a, um, I won't, I won't say who, but. <laughs> I, I know several people who were studying, you know, anthropology, right? Well, if you get a, a master's degree in anthropology, I mean, other than being a teacher in, you know, some um, some colleges, right? It's like, how many places are you really going to be able to work with that degree versus a computer science degree with the skills that uh, that uh, OMSCS is is, uh, is teaching it? I mean, it's the ability of getting work. I mean, it's, it's it really makes a huge difference. So here I am paying straight for, uh, for, for, uh, for my degree. I'm not planning on getting a job. I'd rather just you know, doing, uh, do it the way I'm doing it now anyway. But having that option, having that option to you know, teach, if, uh, if, if I would want to teach at a, at, at a university or, or college, it does make a huge difference, right? It's like, it's a nice, it, it's nice that I have that as a backup, but it's not costing me, you know, half of what you know a house would cost right it's like I, i'm not i don't feel like i'm getting a mortgage for a house without the house is, is one way a lot of people have put it so for all those reasons i highly recommend a, a uh, at least an online education like this now again back to the initial point uh, um that i was bringing up do you really need that degree to learn these skills absolutely not i mean at the end of the day I would, I would honestly say in many ways, you're going to learn exponentially more than any form of, of a university if, and I, I'm, I'm including even from a bachelor's or just any form of university, um, based on my own personal experience and of all the people that I've met in, in, uh, in these different types of, in, uh, of industries, you're gonna learn exponentially more if you have a project you're really interested in, right? If you have a passion project that you're just really interested in that particular subject, and you just buy lots of books by, uh, by, by people that are known and respected in that particular industry, that's where you're really, really going to learn more anyway, right? Um, why? Because all these types of universities, they're gonna focus so much on the theory, and then they're gonna give you tests that have nothing to do with reality, right? It's like, you're, you're not gonna face these kind of, uh, uh, um, uh, problems when, when you're out there either having an office job or just working on your own company, right? So it's like you're going to have to jump through all these hurdles that in the real in real life you're just not going to be facing. And then a whole bunch of tools that you will be facing and being used, a lot of universities may or may not, you know, cover them. And Georgia Tech, since, you know, they rank so high because they, they do a lot, a lot of research, right? So their mentality is more research theory based. So a lot of classes, you might go in there, really know the, uh, the subject matter, and they're going to layer so much theory. And then you're going to take tests on subjects that's like, you know, the content in and out. But the way they're presenting it is very, is going to be very confusing for, for, uh, for a lot of us, right? So in that sense, where would you learn more, right? I mean... If you, if you want to do the heavy theory, you know, uh, if you want a highly theoretical background in, in, a, in, a, um, in certain subjects, then yeah, I would highly recommend the university approach, but I'm very practical. I want skills that I can just apply and use, you know, uh, um, and hit the ground running, uh, right? So for me, it's, it's been kind of, I've had some classes where it's like, I thought the theory was kind of really not as relevant as just practical knowledge and the motivation to do the class. Now, 
the reason why I keep talking uh, 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 about Georgia Tech as like just such a good option as far as what kind of uh, what kind of education uh, um, you can get is because the overall motivation like this has kept me studying even well after um, I got those uh, um, foundational courses that I did in, uh, in, in, in the community colleges I went to, right? So after all the math and all the programming uh, courses that I did, where I felt like, okay, I feel like I can kind of put together any kind of a programming uh, project now, it's, you know, continuing my education online the way I have, I, I, it's just been really, really motivational. And I know myself, if I didn't have that, okay, well, I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to get this piece of paper, it's, I have to take these classes, it, it, Structuring it that way has, has uh, been very helpful, which is also why I built the app um, to help me stay focused um, every day, every week, every month to make sure it's like I'm putting in the hours that I need um, to get those kind of um, uh, um, to get those courses finished. Right. So it's like having both of those things together has, has been very helpful. Now, if you're a person who you already have the uh that was the other thing i was going to mention when i first started with georgia tech it's like i had some ideas of what kind of projects i wanted to work on but i didn't have anything really really um developed yet i guess i could say so even though i had my marketing background i had a you know somewhat of a programming uh, background before getting into the program i really kind of felt like i'm either going to meet someone who gives me a great idea or someone's going to point to but i kind of kept thinking it's like somewhere along the lines i'm gonna come across um, you know, someone just pointing the right resource that'll give me ideas for other businesses, right? Like that was another one of the big, big reasons I want to go back to, uh, um, I, mean, I mean, to finish up on a, on, on a master's degree because that had been my experience in the community colleges and my university. It's like every time I went to a physical school, I met people that just really, you know, pointed me in, in a direction that's led me to where I'm at now, right? Where it's like, I'm, you know, the fact that I'm traveling the world, I have my own businesses, Everything's like automated and hands off. I mean, this didn't happen out of nothing. It, it's all the major, major connections that I made in life really came from uh, my um, my educational uh, experiences on real physical locations, right? It was going to community colleges and going to the, uh, the university. Whereas with Georgia Tech, since this is completely online, it's not just that I haven't physically met people. It's like I... It, I wasn't pointed in the same direction, I guess. And maybe that's also because I just didn't meet, you know, physically meet people. So it wasn't the same. I'm not sure. But after going through certain courses, I kind of came up with different solutions to other problems. So for example, like the EduTech, it's, it's uh, um, I had an idea before, but it was just kind of an idea. And because of the way that uh, that course was structured, I literally built the, uh, at least the draft version of an actual language game which I'll be finishing up um, later on once I, once I finish with OMSES. But it's like that, that is going to be an actual thing that had I not gone through a course and not you know, had other uh, um, um, concepts behind it, it's like I wouldn't have spent the time developing that idea, then doing software development uh, process. That's where I kind of came up with uh, different concepts for, uh, for my app, which is completely done in, in Android. Um, and again, it's not that that class helped me develop that these are kind of like ideas that were going through my my head and the, the class kind of gave me a a good excuse to work on them and then the more i worked on them the more i realized okay i want to you know continue this so for example like machine learning for trade it's like I've, i was already building different uh um indicators uh for the stock market before even taking the class right it's like a, i went in there very prepared compared to um, a lot of other people that are uh, they usually take the course like a lot of people take the course they don't even uh, um know um, like basic stock terms, right? It's just not their background. That's why they're taking the class. I went in there from a different perspective, but now after, you know, being in the class, it, now I'm going to be totally taking that in a different direction. So that's another thing that that's, I recommend not just a graduate degree, just education in general. If you don't know where you want to go with your kind of, uh, um, in, in your particular educational uh, um, field, then going to school and just being around um, other uh, other students, other people working on, on different problems. It, I just recommend it um, uh, um, so much because it, it can open you up to so many different ideas and paths that you just wouldn't come across um, on your own. But if you're on the other spectrum, 
if you're an entrepreneur, you don't want to work in a, uh, in a company, so having some kind of a degree is, is kind of not as necessary. Can you get the same exact education? I would even say you can get the same education 100% free. You don't have to you know, worry about tests and application. There's just, it's a, it's a whole set of frustration uh, dealing with, uh, with uh, a degree versus just studying it on your own. But that's kind of my point. If you already have a project or projects that you're really interested in doing, because that's what happens to these, you know, these big names that everybody knows of, right? It's like the, uh, the, the Zuckerbergs, the, the Bill Gates, but they kind of came across an idea that were like, this is so good. They just stopped the education and, and you know, they hit the, uh, the ground running, right? It's, uh, I can't say it's like I've hit on something that, you know, quite, you know, anywhere near um, that relevant, right? But it's, it's, um, if I would, I totally understand why once you're, you know, just knee deep in the, in, in the education, you're going to get to a point where you're like, okay, I need to just completely stop this and focus on, on, uh, on my work. There was this one guy who I met who, um, in the, uh, in, I think it was the knowledge based AI class that, uh, he was already putting together a business for self-driving cars. Um, and he was doing so well with it. He's like, you know, I only have three classes left, but I don't know if I'll have time. I'm like, dude, if you really have investors pumping money into your company and it's doing that well, and you already took computer, like you already took the core classes that, that, that you, you know, that you know would kind of help you more in that field, then uh, just say run with it. You still have another three or four years to finish it. Cause that's the other nice thing about the, uh, uh, the program. You could do the two years, then go on hiatus for like two or three more, and then come back and just finish up the, the couple classes you have left. So anyway, a little bit long-winded, but overall, do I think that you absolutely need to go to uh, any any formal education system in order to learn these skills? No, I know I, I know you don't. But if you don't have the motivation, if you don't already have the projects that you want to work on, and you know you need some form of uh, of an environment, OMS can can be good. But I highly recommend going to like physical uh, um, campuses first before getting into OMS CS. So even if you get into the program and take a couple of AI courses or a couple of uh, com uh, computing system uh, courses in a physical school, um, if you've been out of it for quite some time, I, I highly recommend it. Anyway, that's what I got uh, this week. I hope it helps and talk to you on the next one.